Hey guys, Major Dodo here for another guide. This time we're going to be doing an overview of how I have magnetized my Deptus Mechanicus Onager Dune Crawler. Now, this is a fairly complex kit, so I I was confused when I got it. I was sitting there going, alright, how am I going to magnetize all of the weapon options? Because cheaping out, being lazy, was not really an option this time as I'm painting this army as part of a gentleman's bet, and we want to do our best. Well, especially I do, I want to do a nice showcase army that I have everything magnetized for the vehicles. So, the main thing that you'll normally run into is how you do the weapons. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the kit, your main weapon system goes on this side. You have a slot key, which I've left unmagnetized at the moment because I'm not going to be moving the weapon up and down much goes in like so. Now, first thing, this pack will go where the hatch is when you are using the Icarus Array, which is the anti-aircraft gun, and I'm holding it in my hand. This version, when I've assembled it, it's sat in pretty tight, and I haven't needed to magnetize that yet. As you can see, it sits fairly snugly. However, if you did want to magnetize that, you would be doing it the same way as I've done the hatch, which covers that. And that's the hatch here, and the magnet is at the top, opposite the key. Now the key is where, you know, where is how you orientate it. The magnet on this side is here. Now it goes all of the way through this inner plastic coupling part, and I've just kind of scraped out an arc where the magnet will sit in snugly and put a bit of super glue in. Done the same on this one, put the magnet in, clips together and hides it. Now for the actual guns themselves, you can get away with putting magnets in the top part here fairly easily. Uh, I wait until I've glued the gun on just so that way if I'm drilling through, I'm drilling into the gun itself. But I worked out when doing this faceplate that you can fit about two and a half magnets deep. Uh, now I was using the two millimeter magnets, which are these ones, and that's what I've used for all of the magnetizing for this kit. So two magnets isn't very deep. I think in retrospect I would have left a bit more room in the gun barrels when I was doing this one as they had to go all the way through because with this one, now this is the confusing one, I will do the more complex one first to touch on. You have two gun barrels that have to go on the one faceplate. You have these two, which are a little bit crooked because I drilled one of them off center. And then you have this one, which I'll be using as an example as to how I've magnetized by drilling this out and showing this. But it goes here as well. Now, which meant I had to have magnetization on both sides. And since it wasn't quite deep enough to run two magnets, and I also realized that having two magnets of opposite polarity, trying to cram them in there would not work, I've had one magnet run go all the way through. I was a bit derpy, did the wrong polarity with the bottom one, so these are two different polarities. Luckily though, it'll help me keep this orientated. It's only ever gonna magnet both way. I'm gonna do both barrels, and it's only ever gonna go one way. Otherwise, it's fairly simple to do. These guys, however, because these are glued in, this faceplate only ever goes with this gun. I've only had to put one magnet in, which will orientate itself to the magnet I have placed in the top. And we'll magnetize in. I'll take it out so you can sh show you properly. So, goes there, slots in, won't fall off. You can shake it, you can do whatever you want, and that's snug and fit. Now, when I was working out where to drill, I placed it like this, used a knife. It was a little bit tricky. I will confess, probably not the safest thing to do, but I got my knife and I scored a mark roughly parallel to where I want the, the magnets to be, and then used the knife to make the hole. You'll see me do that with the other one, but just holding the two pieces like this and trying to do it, probably not the safest thing, but oh well. Alrighty, so, otherwise you have, I've forgotten the names of the weapons, I don't care, 
They're guns. I don't play. I paint. Big gun shoots one thing. Big gun shoots another thing. These both single face plate to single gun. It was just this one was the bank source of confusion since I needed to be able to swap the barrels themselves. Luckily though with reversing polarities I can stick these two things together and make them a bit harder to lose between games. Not that this army will see a lot of play but I did want something I could take to tournaments and kind of show off the quality that I will work. Alright so another suggestion which has been given to me by several people I generally I will just match it with what I've already done I'll put my first magnet in and I'll match everything to that but it was suggested that I use a magnet stick so in this case you can see I have two magnets one at each end for me personally I if I wrote positive and negative I it would confuse the hell out of me and I wouldn't remember which way was which so for this one I've written weapon and hull not that that is a very clear H and on each end is a magnet so the hull magnet is the same polarity as this magnet here so it will not stick weapons magnet I've done it right. Apparently I haven't. Somehow I've still screwed up the polarity on that. <laughs> Don't do what I do then. I think I can snap it off and flip it around later. The idea is that anyway that you have opposite polarities and you can switch around. Apparently I'm a dirty, a derpy bastard and I've done the same ones. But it's an idea to keep, keep track of. As I said I normally just use the thing so everything will match with this hull piece so for instance faceplate same deal now I'm kinda of paranoid that one of these is reversed but no because um, what I'll often do and you'll see me do when I magnetize this is I'll attach the magnet and then force it in and that allows me to make sure that the area that's going you know the area that it's attaching to is the same polarity or the correct polarity I guess. Another thing worth mentioning is that if you're going the full shebang you can have a priest with a heavy stubber that sits on top of here. Now I wanted to be able to swap this in and out which meant I didn't want this hatch glued in. Um, unfortunately that would either mean putting a magnet here uh, to magnetize this shut, removing it and putting the priest, but in that case you've got nothing to hold it at the hinge joint. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole all the way through using the smallest drill bit I have, or the second smallest, the smallest one was just not cutting it. So it's a one millimeter drill bit. It did drill out the little raised areas at each end which I've just trimmed off completely and I'm going to do small green stuff little round caps to cover and the pinning rod goes all the way through so you would basically put a little bit of glue at the correct spots and there you go yeah, you can run it all the way through and now you've got a hinge uh, the trick is going to be, of course, fixing this into place, but a little bit of green stuff should be all it needs. Uh, probably a touch of super glue at each end. There's something else to pay attention to. Obviously, I don't think it's going to need magnetizing, but you can put a magnet in here if you're very careful and don't drop it down. But that guide hole there should hold the priest into place. Anyway, let's get magnetizing. Now, I'm using a Citadel Hobby Drill with the largest drill bit it comes with, which is the 2mm bit, funnily enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score a mark using my knife at the exact centre of where I want to drill. Um, this is slightly easier on this part since it was a two half part that I let dry overnight because um, I was doing a little bit of magnetising on stream but this part I wanted to make sure was solidly dry before I did this. So once again, just going to find the center, score it with the knife like this. This is in lieu of drilling a pilot hole. Once the drill gets moving, it's not going to need it. It's just that initial point where you want to lock things into place. So this is a little bit off center. Just kind of widen it the direction I want to go. 
should be right. The magnets don't need to be exact. The main thing is the polarity. And obviously, although obviously you don't want to drill, um, you know, you don't want to go outside out the uh, other side of the weapon. So I'm just going to drill in a little bit. Now something you'll see me do is I'll twist the drill bit back and forth. It's only going to drill when you're rotating it clockwise, but by twisting it back and forth, it trims off the shavings inside the barrel. See that? At a certain point here, because this piece is hollow, you only have to go through a little bit. Of course, you then have to make sure you don't punch the magnet all the way through and it rattles around, but generally, that was it. So I'm going to do the same thing with this barrel, drilling all the way through. <coughs> Jesus. 10 out of 10 professionality. Oh, he can't stop the sneeze. That's right, I'll mute the audio at that point. Oh, who am I kidding? All the way through again. Clean it off. So that is our two magnet holes. Now, here's the trick. So, orientating this way up. Uh, actually, we'll do this a different way. Just stack some magnets. It's fine. Do it on both sides. Actually, I should probably do this top one first. Now we're going to add a little bit of cheap super glue, just because it's not going to take. It's not going to be a stressed part. Like you're not going to be load bearing or anything on it. So I'm using just cheap Yuhu super glue. Whatever works. Just going to put a bit in. Now you just want to get and take a magnet off the end. So this is how it goes. So I know this is going to fit, and then I just move it off. Make sure I don't get any super glue, and then push it to the end. I've got some excess super glue on the end, but that's fine. You just use a piece of tissue or a paper towel, and I'll just use my fingernail to push the magnet in. And now I need to do the same thing for the other barrel. So we're going to take a magnet, I'm going to place some super glue in here, like so. Usually, wipe the uh, end of your super glue, you'll run into less problems. So we know that this magnet goes like this. We just put it in. Make sure you've got no super glue on the surface you're working with. Poke it in with your thumbnail like that, or whatever you want to use. I find the two mil drill bit with the two mil magnet, since it's such a perfect match, um, funnily enough, because they're both two mil, that you don't have to worry as much about the magnet being loose. And some models have actually put the magnet in and it's been so tight that I couldn't get it out even if I wanted to, and that was without gluing. Um, so that's magnet. That's magnetized. There we go. This one is a little, the top's a little loose. Not a big deal. So what I might do is, if it's not too wet, so I'll put another magnet in. Now it's much more secure. However, I'm not sure which end it's gone in. Either way, basically that's how you do it. Now we've got another magnetized gun, which will then go on to there. Throw it around. It's not going to go anywhere. Mount it on, 
straighten it up. There you go. It's that easy. Um, don't be off put. As I said, if you want, I said the easiest thing is to wait until the gun is glued, drill in for these face plates. Uh, double magnets if you're worried about it being too weak to hold the gun barrel in place, but generally it's pretty secure. And uh, have fun. I said it's a good way to get a lot of value from one kit. This way, whenever you want to change up your army list, it's going to take you two seconds to change the guns. The only thing, of course, is keeping track of all the bits and bobs. With the rhinos and the large space marine vehicles, I thought it was it was always easy because you could just stash them in here. But with these ones, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Anyway, I hope you find this informative. I am going to be recording a full video with the second Onager for the army, and that will be a start to finish magnetizing. So all the barrels, you'll watch me do it again. Hopefully this time a little bit less derpy. And yeah, but I figured this would be enough of a guide for most people to get their heads around what to do and where to do it. Uh, if you have trouble finding two millimeter magnets, there is another thing I will briefly mention. Another streamer by the name of Genuine Vision showing me his Dune Crawler. He actually made a peg inside of here and stacked up uh, basically a support peg in here with magnets and then magnetized this, locked that in, and then he did the same inside here, I think. Or he might have just done it inside here, but basically, instead of putting a magnet in this top rim, he placed them in the center with just some spacing to, to build it up. But I find if you use a small enough magnet, everything will just slot into place with the keys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative and I will see you next time. Check out the description for more information on the products I've used. Also, please check out the Facebook page, Patreon, and you can watch me paint on Twitch where I'll be doing the rest of the Mechanicus army. Here's a sneak preview of one of the Skatari we've been working on. This guy is getting painted in the Metallica color scheme, so he's still got a fair while to go, but exciting things. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.